G'day, Greg Murphy here, Pertec Ambassador. Today I'm talking about safer driving, which is something Pertec and I are extremely passionate about. With over 50 vehicles operating throughout New Zealand, Pertec are committed to keeping their people and all other road users safer through greater driver education and awareness. Pertec mobile service technicians are on the road 24-7, servicing their customers' hose and fittings requirements. And that's from the far north right down to the deep south of New Zealand. Pertec are promoting a safe driving culture throughout their business. And this is something everyone should be thinking about. Train to play. And Sammy Bill does it again. The collisions, the big hits, I love it. My teammates want me by their side, not on the sideline. If I get injured, I can't play. I want to play every game. The game doesn't start with a whistle. It starts with warming up. My body is the tool of my trade, so I look after it. We're going to show you how ACC Sports Smart Warm Up. Let's go. Kia ora and welcome back to day three of the New Zealand Rugby League National Youth Tournament. We have the under 16s and under 18 girls down in Taupo and today we're viewing the under 18s clash between South Island and Auckland Vulcans 18s. A lot happening this morning, we just had uh, some big games involving the under 16s, if you have some whanau and some friends in that, um, a lot of upsets. After the interesting games yesterday, um, we had a couple of upsets this morning with Akadana going down 36 to nil to Wellington, and Wellington are through B Auckland Vulcans without winning a game yesterday. Won today, and on for and against sneak through. So Wellington and Auckland to top pool B, and Counties going through undefeated. South Island with a, a win this morning gets their four and against up and counties in South Island make it through so those four teams will be playing tomorrow in the semi-final stages so congratulations to those zones
With the under-18s competition only having five teams, they will play a round robin, and the top team, the top two teams, will go through. And so far in this tournament, South Island had a met Akarana, a very strong Akarana in the first game, went down 42 points to nil, but were well, well rested yesterday, ready for today's game. And the Auckland 18s, they. Got up on their day one game against Upper Central Zone, 26 to 14, tough clash in the rain. Went down yesterday to a well-drilled Counties Monaco team, 22 points to nil. So both teams need the win. Try and finishing top two of the competition, but very exciting footy. It is good to see the sun out today though. Been raining for the, the three days so far, the two days so far, day three. Underway. South Island first possession. Good starting field position too. They go through the ruck early. That looks like the four Mulio. It's a danger in the first game. He's getting more involved in this one. Started well. Easy meters up through the middle. One out simple so far. And Drooly Drooly. Ball in two hands, finds a spot. Gets through, good metres. Earns the first penalty of the game. It's like a second effort on the Auckland side. Drooly Drooly. Spotted a gap. Took it on and a promising start from South Island. Did mention well rested after the bye yesterday. Key players from the, the opening match. I'd like to see Bussy Timor, Ella Bussy Timor, get a bit more involved. She was, looked very damaging in their opener. Obviously the wet sort of dampened that game a bit. Sun's out, but see her touch the ball a lot, really get her bigger players onto the ball. Bit of concern for Julie Julie. She's okay. Also a change of venue today. We're at Hickling Park. Uh, been at Owen Delaney Park. We will be for the remainder of the tournament. Just a little cross today. So moved up. The sun's followed us. It's out today. Beautiful. Strong ball carrier. So we've seen met with strong defense. Hedemeyer Lemon. Edwards Ria on one side. Basitima on the other. Edwards Ria with the ball. Defense up to the challenge. Basitima shouting instructions. And another penalty too slow around the ruck. Fighting for the play the ball, South Island. Good start. Fine touch, 25 metres out from the Auckland Vulcans line. First carry through Clarkson, off the back of two penalties, puts the head down, trying to get some metres. Basitimo with the ball, out the back to Mulio. 
gone through to ground. And as Auckland Vulcans knock on as they try to pick the ball up. So once again, South Island. Great chance to start the ball. Start the scoring after going down 42-0. Not getting across the line day one and having the day off yesterday. Big opportunity to put some pressure on early. Third set with the ball. And a full set of six inside the Auckland Vulcans half. Oh no, I was wrong. South Island being ruled to knock the ball on. So Auckland breathe a sigh of relief and straight away they shift it. Roebuck Lasaur. Go from the back to Itupo. Onto the five that looks like Tahia. They go to the right side through number 16, Hodaki. Looking to get them up over halfway. Hedamaya Lemon again with the carry. Taramairimo, the little grubber in behind. Well diffused by Bailey, Jessica Bailey from South Island. Edwards. Right and left here. 18 decides to take it. Tapa Tuiloma. Big defense. Teresa Nasalai. Pussy Timor trying to turn players under. Runs behind. Oh, the referee says Auckland offside. Plenty of penalties to open the game. They opt to tap the ball. Once again, Azaria Mulio. The strong carry. Looking more organised than the other day as well, which is good. Edwards Rudia. Out the back, Julie Julie. Edwards Ria takes the ball herself, beats the first defender. Dooley Dooley, ball in two hands, centers it, and another penalty. I think referee will have a chat to the captain. It's four penalties to start the game, just discipline creeping in, but on the positive side for South Island, Get the ball 25 metres out. Opportunity to put some first points on the board. <laughs> Looks like the Brain Trust, Trelise Edwards and Ella Bussy Timor deciding what they're going to do. They start off with Julie Dooley. Three tacklers to bring her down. They have numbers to the left if they take it. And they do that, Bussy Timor. Off to Emily Berry. The numbers are still there, the left they want it. Back to the right. Ayopo. Big strong carry. Gets close. Edwards Rhea to the right. Goes down low. Auckland defense holding at the moment. They go from dummy half, that's Edwards. Pops it out the back. Yeah, Opo. The strong ball carrier gets brought down well. Last tackle. Looking for another set of six here. All across the line. Good line speed. Bussy Timor touched. Auckland survived. Great defense on the line. Bussy Timor went for the long looping pass to the winger, but Auckland up to the task. And here they go straight away. Lily Newton, the superstar from day one. Score two, she's getting mowed down there, chasing. That's a big chase. Tuipolotu. What a chase. Diana Tuipolotu. They got numbers to the left. Tuipolotu sums it up. 
Taramai Rimo. The show and go puts it down, but Lily Newton, after two tries on day one in the win, was exceptional in the wet day one, and you can see why. First carry of the game, straight through the middle. Didn't have enough pace to go on. It was a great chase by Diana Tuipolotu. Sina Tuitupo gets the dummy half, goes to the left, find the number six. Joes Taramayarimo opening the try scoring. Day three, Auckland up four points to nil. Conversion just to the left there, Milan Setsua. Score remains 4-0. For Auckland on day one, it was Milan Setsua with the 12 on her back. Playing a bit of seven, a bit of six, and really directing, doing a lot of the, the last play kicking as well. So South Island with all the ball to start the game and the oh, one of the first sets or one of the first touches that Lily Newton gets. 80 metre break, then sets up their team for a try. So, Auckland, 4 0 to start this game. Charlie Edwards to get us back underway. Oh, a little trickery, got me. Azaria Mulio. Set up by Tre Trelise Edwards. They shifted early off the player like this. Sun's out today, why not? Milan Satua again, first receiver, directing play. And that's a big carry. That's a number five, Teresa Nasalai. Hermaya Lemon turns under the 13. Tunafai Leo, Edamaya Lemon, decoy player. Off to the try scorer, Taramai Rimo. Off to Li Lily Newton again. The seven, oh. Latui just couldn't hold the ball. She tried to creep down the left hand touch line. South Island survive. Great hit back defensively. You see Auckland really starting to get into the groove after a slow start, discipline riddled. Four or five penalties given away. Really starting to play some expansive football. Pass the ball, use the width of the field. Julie, Julie backwards. Still backwards, but the second one knock on by Bussy Timor. And they're just inviting Auckland. Mentioned Auckland starting to use the ball now. And Satua and Taramai Rimo. A lot of the ball playing with Lily Newton swinging out the back. <coughs> they got four on three on the left. They drop under, that goes to the three, there's space there. Ball under. Robek Lasor, the carry of the scrum. Tui Tupo. Off to Smitch, Sopawanga. To Nafai Leo, first receiver. Sees space under. Goes for the pass out the back to Latua. She holds it up. Gets the offload away. Lily Newton offloads to Tahia. And she gets across. That'll take the score out to 8-0. And Auckland offloading, looking promising. Sun's out. Let the ball do the work. It's the score, eight points to nil. Bring it up, bring it straight. Bring it up, bring it straight. 
So after a slow start by the Auckland Vulcans, they're touching the ball more and more, looking more exciting. Shifting the ball, got a lot of misdeception, playing under. A lot of decoys. The outside backs are doing a great job hitting the lines out wide. But the lead up work from Jarez Taramai Rimo and our goal kicker here, Milan Satua, who has just missed it. Their work directing the team around is, is exceptional. So eight points to nil it remains. South Island be looking like they did before just to hold Auckland here to a kick. Or maybe a forced error, they could. Wonder if we'll see the same trickery from the last kickoff. Too deep of a kick to to Dupo. The last two once again. Offload the pointing that way. Go that way. Faui, the big carry. Almost back to halfway on the first tackle. Milan Satua. Once again, just as a simple touch as in the far. Oh, well, wow. She might have five on her back, but definitely playing through the middle. Teresa, slow to play the ball. Hopefully okay. Tutupo. Oh, sums it up, but just before they play on. Schmidt Sopawanga. It's hard to put down to get her in the end. Tutupo. Eyeing up where to go. Falimoy is there. They go to Falimoy. Falimoy gets it close. Three there in the tackle. There's space wide if they go. Tinafai Leo is there. She shifted. She does the tour. Satua, she's been passing all day and what that does, defense thinks she's gonna pass again, but the IQ of the lady, how good. Show and go. <laughs> and plus it's an easier kick for her. So that score takes us out to 12 nil. Auckland really starting to show some dominance every time they have the ball now. Try scorer, Milan Satua. Teresa Nassalai is okay walking off the field a bit gingerly after that big break. Like I said, number five on the back, but she's making all these breaks straight through the middle. Milan Satua rights or wrongs from the two previous ones. That takes a score out 14, Auckland, nil South Island. Yeah, the short one, no, just over the back. Lily Newton's there. They look to go right again. She uses her speed. Only a second touch of the game. Very exciting time. She touches the ball, feels like something's gonna happen. As usual, Milan Satua there to direct him. Walker to Tufunga. Through carry from the front row, Falamoy. 
To Itupo, out from dummy half, so an opportunity. Met by a couple of South Island players. Hedamaya Lemon. Taramaya Rimo. Off the road, back Rasoa. She's got her arms free, still carrying players. Lily Newton, dummy half. Taramaya Rimo, Lily Newton goes left. As Lutui on the last tackle held. I think Taramai Rimo really wanted that. Looking very promising out on the left side and linking up with Rebek Lasor. <laughs> Rebek Lasor is looking promising when she does link up with Taramai Rimo. And yeah, Lily Newton and the last of two to that. They have a great spine. Two Tupo dummy out of coming out of dummy half. We got a player down for South Island, so both teams will catch a break. Like I said, the weather's picked up today. Very hot. Not no breeze at all. Bit of bit of sting in the sun, so. Time for player injury. Turn to the person next to you and say, Kwafara. Kwafara is the Māori word for she's injured. Kwafara. You said it. It's your Māori word for today. 14 mil is the score. Hawkins over the Scorpions. Seven minutes remaining in the first half. so far through the two days South Island going down to Akarana 42 nil on the first day and got to sit in the warmth yesterday with the bye whereas Auckland uh, opening round win over upper central zones 26-14 and went down yesterday to counties 22 points to nil both teams after a win South Island with a tough task to get out of their own end. And once again, the discipline jumping too early. Boini Lotui, overexcited on defence, very enthusiastic. South Island fine touch, 15 out from their own line. It's a great carry to open the set. The players know how to run. Followed up a little tip pass. Julie Julie ends up with the ball. Met by three. Strong contact. Sorry, it was two ranga. Out from dummy half. Edwards. No. Lynch Brown. Very promising. She looks like she's playing number nine now. And she goes for a second one and finds some more space. Some lazy defenders as she gets there. Ball in two hands, still easy meters. Puts them on the front foot inside Auckland's half. Off to Emily Berry. Once again beats the first, beats the second. Carried down. Last tackle. Trinity Edwards Ria. They're back. Great kick. Try! Error at the back from Manel Holloway in South Island. Straight back in the game, 14 points to four. Kick chase, so important in the game. You just never know what's gonna happen. Yeah. She was the one who 
we got that wonderful chase down earlier in the match. And this time, she can take it for a try. It's number 22, Diana Tupolotu. There we have, we heard of the loudspeaker, the try scorer, who did the chase down before. Great chase, chase down before on Lily Newton, Diana Tupolotu. The never give up attitude that we saw before. She doesn't give up on a kick chase either because right there. The rugby league ball is funny. You never know which way it's going to bounce. A seesawing event, South Island with all the ball to open the first five to ten minutes, but as soon as Auckland touched it, went three tries back to back. South Island with a bit more possession and from about 40 out, Trinity Edwards Trinity Edwards rear kicked. Lin Linnell Holloway could not clean it up at the back and the never give up attitude of Diana Tupolotu there to reap the rewards. 14 points to four. The score remains Auckland over South Island. Not too long to go in the first half. <laughs> Situa gets us underway. And that's the 12, Emily Berry. Grace Meacham just on the field. Big carry, almost up to halfway, and now they're rolling. Tabitha Taranga. Azaria Thompson. Edwards Rio out here on the right. Asitimo on the left. Drop one under. Goes herself, Edwards Rio. Oh, half break. Well shut down by Schmidt Sopawanga. Last tackle. Oh, kick across field, not a bad option. Well diffused by Afu. Anastasia Afu. Bit of back and forth forward here now. Looks like Linnell Holloway. Lily Newton out of dummy half. Little stop and start. Beats one again. Finds her front. They're starting to roll. Go forward again now. There's still space there. They're showing. Go. Tuna Lior. Wow. Very simple set from Auckland. But summed up beautifully by there. If you don't know how to play rugby league the basic way, the bases get you those tries because you've seen it right there. Alexandra Tunafai Leo caught the ball at speed, hands the ball in two hands, looked to her left, confused the defense, saw a gap straight through. That takes the score out to 18 points to four with a kick to come. Lance two with the conversion in front takes us out to 20 points to four to Auckland.
stolen jogging bag. A little chap behind the on the trial line to see the Hooters about to go. Before we get the kick away. Day three under 18s we have Auckland leading 20 points to 20 points to four at half time. We'll be right back. G'day, Greg Murphy here, Pertec Ambassador. Today I'm talking about safer driving, which is something Pertec and I are extremely passionate about. With over 50 vehicles operating throughout New Zealand, Pertec are committed to keeping their people and all other road users safer through greater driver education and awareness. Pertec mobile service technicians are on the road 24 seven, servicing their customers, hose and fittings requirements. And that's from the far north right down to the deep south of New Zealand. Pertec are promoting a safe driving culture throughout their business and this is something everyone should be thinking about. Train to play. And Sammy Bill does it again. The collisions, the big hits, I love it. My teammates want me by their side, not on the sideline. If I get injured, I can't play. I want to play every game. The game doesn't start with a whistle. It starts with warming up. My body is the tool of my trade, so I look after it. We're going to show you how ACC Sports Smart Warm Up. Let's go. We're back for the second half. South Island to start us off. Hedemeyer Lemon. Carry up to the 30. Come on, 
girls from Auckland looking to get the second victory of the tournament. And Schmidt Sopawanga managing carry. Tanafai Leo, who scored the try just before half time, showed her skill there with the ball in two hands. This time she just tries to run over people. Why not? Show the all round ability. Latua, the ball player. Off to Afu. Anastasia Afu through one, through two. Still going. Still standing. Three to bring it down. Sina Tui Tupo. Dummy half. Alan. To Walker. To Iletufunga. To Tupo. No markers. Takes the option. Just knocks on. She spotted it. Both markers down on the ground. Sina Tui Tupo. Went to take advantage. I think she had her next move planned before she got the ball in her hands. South Island survived that first set. It looked promising from Auckland. Emily Berry met by the strong defense. Carry up to the 25. That was Thompson. Grace Meacham. Come on late in the first half. A couple of good carries already. Look to get some moment momentum changing. Bussy Timor tops one under. Tufonga. Two Raga, sorry. Kyla Lynch Brown again. Saw her go to number nine. Dummy half and halfway through the first half and was promising they got it numbers on the left they don't take it it was Rio with the kick just get us out of territory they say Lily Newton back there they need a defensive line straight to get rid of container and they do that Kyla Lynch Brown this is the injury timeout they had an opportunity there the South Island girls just to go down the short side but decided just to play it safer and Put the kick across. We do know there's only five teams in this tournament, so they've already had their bye. They've got two more games after this. There's plenty of time to make an impression on this tournament. I like to do so early. I do like the work though from Kyla Lynch Brown, the number three. She's come on, started playing dummy half, and not only is she bringing her forwards onto the ball, she's definitely taking off from dummy half numerous times and look promising. There's an injury to Milan. Situ, I hope she's okay. Let's see who replaces her in the halves. And she's doing a lot of the... On oh, error. That's what South Island needed. Met by defense and Linnell Holloway with the error coming out of their own end. Saying there was a hand in there. The referee said no, it was a loose carry. So South Island with the ball. A full set of six inside Auckland's half. Milan Satua's the one that touches the ball a lot in a set, brings her teammates onto it, does the kicking on the last, so it could be a big loss for this Auckland team. South Island need to take advantage and take advantage now. Bussy Timor to feed the scrum. Grace Meacham off the back. 
Lawrence goes forward. Great place to start the set of six. At the back to Edwards Ria. For Atapi, Tuiloma. Play the ball, 35 out. Zaria Thompson once again with the carry. She's not afraid to put a hand up for some work. Lynch Brown looking to go. Bussy Timor out the back. Turaga. Bussy Timor still left. Got numbers too. Just goes to ground. Auckland to pounce. Linnell. And counters the lost ball with a head high tackle. Linnell Holloway making up for an error from before, diving on a loose ball, getting the team out of trouble. Hedemeyer Lemon. Couldn't get the ball. Sina Tu. Sina Tu to ball. Tap us, get us underway. Anastasia Afu, the strong carrier, always beating the first and second. It's a huge carry, 15 metre carry to start the set. Linnell Holloway looking for some work again. And another high tackle. Tabitha Turaga. Referee just caution, that's two in a row. Right in Auckland, back into the half. Hedemeyer Lemon with the boot, getting deep down into South Island, uh, South Island's territory. See how they start this set. Will it be the big carriers, Anastasia Afu, to start again, and it is. Up further. And Linnell Holloway, will she come in second? There's Anastasia Afu. The carry. Oh, there's the one defender she always beats. They got numbers to the left. Tui Tupo out of dummy half, sees the option. Taramairimo just offloads there. Nice little short pass. Falemoi close to the line. Hedemeyer Lemon with the ball. Bumps one. Still has the ball available. Good defence at the moment by South Island. Tui Tupo. Goes herself. And she gets it down. Very smart player, Sin, Sina Tui Tupo. That takes the score out to 24 points to four. Auckland, Val Auckland Vulcans looking to pick up their second win of the tournament. On track at the moment. Tui Tupo, her workaround. The ruck. Not only is she bringing the forwards onto the ball, she's hitting the right options and out in front. She's finding Teramai Rimo. Those passes out in front, and there's nothing more you can ask from a dummy half. That time she gets one herself, well deserved. Injury to Malas Etua, we have Zeal, Hermaya Lemon. Taking the kick. Just missed to the left. So score remains 24 points to four to the Auckland girls over South Island.
Zaria Mulioi back on for South Island. Needs to assert her herself into this game as she can be a game changer. See Grace Meacham get us back underway. Big defensive suit needed by South Island. Two to ball the try scorer. Just see some space straight away. I've done my work, your turn now. Robek Lasoa. Playing the ball. Taramai Rimo with the pass. Heramaya Lemon. Carrying three and four. Heramaya Lemon. Over the 40. Inside their half. Two Tupo. Tunafai Leo out the back, but the referee has a ruled a shepherd. Yes, correct decision. Alexandra Tunafai Leo just took the advantage with the pass. See that rule? Given away plenty of times where the player just lays down, accepts the tackle, but Tunafai Leo thought she did nothing wrong, but in the eyes of the referee, she did. So South Island with the ball. Zaria Mulio. The eyes appear to the left. They got numbers. Ooh, a little fake. Edwards Ria has looked promising with the ball. In the opening game, she was sort of playing that halfback role with this other person who has the ball now, Bussy Timor. As they turn Mulio. The second run of the set. Still numbers to the left if they take it. Bussy Timor. Lynch Brown once again. And she gets it. And they got the numbers. Bussy Timor. Chance to draw and pass, but goes down. Good piece of play. Interchange passing. Or starting from Lynch Brown. Emily Berry. Offside, the referee says. Starting to roll. Trying to change momentum. It's that decision from bringing Lynch Brown on into the dummy half roll. So we see her tap the ball now. Off to Meacham, who goes long. Ah, oh, play one. Oh, it's a coach kill, I know we're chasing points, but. Oh, well, it's rugby league. Auckland survived that. 24 points to four. To South, uh, sorry, to Auckland. Coming out of their own end. Picked up by the back, Hermaya Lemon. Shifted wide straight away. Robek Lasoa, the carry up to the 20. Tutupo, dummy half, decides to go, oh, picks it up and goes. Nasalai, who's back on the field after we thought was injury before. It's good to see her back. Carrying through the middle. Taramairimo. Oh, big hit. Saw this the other day as well. Taolu. Serving a dominance off the wing. Nasalai. Teresa Nasalai have to offload. Taramairimo play the ball. South Island coming up. Trying to change the game with their defence. Might have jumped a bit early, but they haven't. Nasalai with another carry. Third for the set. Hedemeyer Lemon, look for the pass, no, they'll kick it. Go high in the air, sun in the eyes. They're letting the ball bounce. Oh, and they're down there in defense. Down at two, Polotu. Stood there and absorbed the hit. Gee, she has no lack of courage from two, Polotu. Saw the courage to chase down the defenders before and there just stands in the way. She knows she's going to be hit hard. <laughs> Is 
as we see another injury to Auckland over it's not too bad Twenty four points to four with um ten minutes to remaining and mentioned four games for the tournament for these ladies. That is in the pool stages or the round robin stages, should I say there's only five teams and we get back underway with Mulio. Oh two in the tackle, yes. They need to go, they need to get moving, Lynch Brown. Gets it up over the 50. To the 50, right on halfway. <laughs> Kyla Lynch Brown. Off the line! I see two more. Edwards Ria. Great work to catch that under a lot of pressure. Off to the front row, beats one. That's the momentum changer. Paki, Kamoi Paki. Onto the field, it was Ria. Eopo. Been off for a while, but this is what we've seen from her all tournament. Beating defenders, remains, carries the ball. Well held of the ball. Bussy Timur to the left. Lynch Brown once again with a dart. Must follow Lynch Brown. Every time she carries the ball, she's looking dangerous. As Bussy Timor goes from dummy half, has option to her left. Held with the ball. Do they go to the left again, Lynch Brown? It was Ria. Last tackle. Could not get a kick through. Bussy Timor tackled. I think she would have been the one to take the option. Tackled just before the last. Auckland survive again. Promising stuff from South Island though, here they come. The tough carries, and who else to have a tough carry but that girl again, Teresa Nassalai. Five on the back, playing like a front rower. Lily Newton come in to help her forwards, give them a breather. Find some easy metres through the middle. Tweetle ball through the middle again. Just really taking some pressure off the forwards. As the game draws to an end, Lily Newton. Tweetle ball fires the ball out wide. The front rower, look at the pace. Schmidt Sopawanga. The turn of foot speed there. Outstanding. Up to play the ball. 40 out. No fullback at home. Hedemaya Lemon puts the kick off. Lynch Brown's there. Great. Oh, she take it. Good work taking that. It's the defense, but Afu was steaming down, and Afu's there to make the second tackle. Trying to lift the defense as well. Bussy Timo off the left. Darting back to the middle, just trying to center them. She does so. It was Ria, dummy half, and Bussy Timor with the fight to play the ball gets the penalty. Let's go, let's go, one set. They got to get moving, South Island. Kamoi Paki. Another carry. Big, strong. Gets up to play the ball. Auckland still retreating, Edwards Ria off to the side. Working their way off their own trial line nicely, they're in, out of their own half nicely. Carry to the middle, that's Emily Berry. I see two more Talinum come through. To meet you on ball in two hands to Bussy Timor. Cut out pass, Dooley Dooley. Find space out wide, just held. 
Coming to the end of the set. There's options on the left if they take it. Mulior does. She's down the sideline. Two to beat. Tackled. Fifth tackle caught on the sideline. Who's taking the option? Grace Meacham's there. Lynch Brown's got the ball. Finds the grass. Little coup step. Love to see that. Recovered by Auckland side. The goosey. Believe that was Taramai Rimo. The goosey and Lin Linnell Holloway. Inviting South Island to try and get some more points on the board. The clock is ticking down, but 24 points to four, just under five to go. So we've seen in the under 16s tournament, the for and against us has become crucial in the end for both pools. As teams have found themselves not in the, the main draw because of a try or a goal against them. So South Island be looking to put some more points on. Now the other side, Auckland be trying to stop it. So what can South Island do with the ball? Edwards Ria, one off the scrum, got Julie Julie outside her. Taolu off the back. Simple but effective. Lynch Brown dummy half. Picked it up well, no, knocked on. They look to be promising over to the left. Bussy Timor had her players outside her. Had some space. Wasn't to be though, so now Auckland back on the attack. Lily Newton to the left. Be the one I'd be going to. I'm not on the field though. They go off the back of the scrum. Tenafai Leo. We've seen her both with a bit of class, a bit of finesse, a bit of toughness straight through the middle. Tuitupo. Does play on. Play on, the referee says. Tuitupo. Still going. Very crafty from the number nine. We're going to get back through the middle. Lily Newton. Another carry helping her forwards out. Gets us over halfway. Head of Maya Lemon goes to dummy half. Teresa. Nasalai. Heard the calls from the sideline. Follow her. You must. Very hard to put down. Lily Newton, dummy half. Head of Maya Lemon. Looks like to take over the ball playing role. Tinafai Leah off to the right. And it's a try, we get across to the seven. Meki Meki Pane Vahai. Angelica Meki Meki Pane Vahai. Gets across. Great lead up work. I was a bit worried to see who would take over the ball playing situation when Milan Satil went off. But Hedamaya Lemons just taking it right up, taking the kicking too. That score takes us out to 28 points to four with a couple minutes remaining. Try scorer, Angelica Megameki Paane Vahai. Paane Vahai. Unable to convert her own try. Seven on the back, scoring on the wing. We have a match after this. We have the upper central zone against Counties Manico in the 18s. Score remains 28 points to four. B 
be a good bounce back after their loss yesterday. Auckland going down to County's 22 points to nil after opening their, their round robin with a 26 to 14 win over the upper central zone. So good bounce back. The Auckland side have to wait till day five to get their bye. Get up, get up, get up, get up. They start the set. Panevai high. Tutupo. Off to Falamoy. We've seen damaging on day one. Continuing that work. Tuitupo. Dummy half. Once again. Splits them. Walker. Tuleta Tufanga. Tackled. Tuitupo. Oh my goodness. There she is. Five on the back. Nasalai. Player of the match for me. Teresa Nasalai. Everyone's seen that she has number five on her back. I think the coach has seen she's wasted on the wing. That takes the score out to 32 points to four and Teresa Nasalai continuously through the middle, taking hit up after hit up and if she doesn't beat the first, or she doesn't make a line break, she's definitely beaten one or two defenders and that time straight through the middle and straight under the post, looks to convert this. The Auckland side. Siren goes in the background. Angelica Megameke Pan Vahai with the conversion. And that brings the score and the full time score to 34 points to two, uh, 34 points to four, shall I say, Auckland over South Island. Great display, display from the Auckland side. Tough effort from South Island. Hanging in there, looking promising at stages, but Auckland too big, too strong. Now get their second win of the tournament. South Island still looking for their first. Stay with us as we have another under-18s game. Upper Central Zone versus Counties Manico coming up soon. G'day, Greg Murphy here, Pertec Ambassador. Today I'm talking about safer driving, which is something Pertec and I are extremely passionate about. With over 50 vehicles operating throughout New Zealand, Pertec are committed to keeping their people and all other road users safer through greater driver education and awareness. Pertec mobile service technicians are on the road 24 seven, servicing their customers, hose and fittings requirements. And that's from the far north right down to the deep south of New Zealand. Pertec are promoting a safe driving culture throughout their business and this is something everyone should be thinking about.
It's an absolute feast. Train to play. And Sammy Bill does it again. The collisions, the big hits, I love it. My teammates want me by their side, not on the sideline. If I get injured, I can't play. I want to play every game. The game doesn't start with a whistle. It starts with warming up. My body is the tool of my trade, so I look after it. We're going to show you how ACC Sports Smart Warm Up. Let's go.